All right, so it, it seems to me like these have kind of been your two best games of the season back to back. Is, would you agree with that? Uh, yeah, probably, definitely, uh, especially I think from a defense standpoint, uh, just being able to lock in on certain guys and, and get the job done. Just anything click with you here lately or anything like that? I know it's been kind of a process for you this season. Uh, I mean, everything's a process. It's always a process every year. Uh, for me, I just really just try to stay in the gym, stay doing what I'm doing, watching film, and I think stuff works itself out. Did your guys' experience matter there at the end of regulation in both those overtimes? 100%, especially like getting the ball in, um, shoot, uh, let them, not letting them shoot threes, but a two's okay, different situations like that. Just knowing and us talking out there, those three seniors, just talking out there during those times was important. What opened up those dives for you in the second overtime? Uh, just communicating. And I kind of was playing like I was being lazy, and then I just cut, cut hard. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and when Trey gets those post ups, you know, he, that's what he's looking for. He's looking to make those passes and those plays. So the best thing to do with him is get open. So. Um, put this in perspective for me. What does this mean for you guys as a team to get this one done? Uh, I think it's a really big win. Um, I mean, Illinois at home, I think this is, a, this is our, the first time I beat them here. Um, I think this is our, we only played them once this year, so if we ended up splitting at the end, we got the, you know, we can win it all right that way. So there's a couple of different situations that, that make this win better for us. There's always a certain, I guess, degree of toughness you have to show to beat Illinois. Did, did, did that really come out today from you guys? For sure, especially in those double OTs. I think we really had a good first half. Uh, besides a couple of little mistakes here and there. But uh, we knew they was going to come out in the second half just to be hitting hard and, and trying to get us out of our game, get uncomfortable. But uh, I think towards the end of regulation and those overtime, we, we, we out tough them. Zach, getting the best of Coburn today, what did that say about him? Z is amazing. He's gotten so much better. It's, it's unreal. He's so patient now. It's, it's great. It's like a whole different Zach from last year. And it's, I just like seeing him, like watching him play. You mentioned you hadn't had a lot of success against Illinois in your career in the last couple of years. Was this kind of a hump this team had to get over? For sure. It was something, especially the older guys talked about, because I think we lost here. I've lost here three times. The, so, the 37 point game a couple of years ago. Yes. And then the two the next year. Yes, that was unreal my sophomore year. Oh my God, that was embarrassing. So, yeah, we definitely had to get this one. Knowing we played them only one time, and it's here. So, yeah, was, the seniors are happy. Just to close out this game after what happened at Rutgers, what happened with Wisconsin, what kind of can this catapult this team into into the next level where you need to be? Yeah, I mean, I think when we, it's kind of hard to tell right now, but when we go back and watch the film and kind of see that, like, we can do this, we can close out a game, we can make big plays on both ends. Um, to put us in the best position, and I think we'll, that'll, that'll be something we can remember and, and take.